What's up, Terrifics? I'm Michael Arts. alongside Matt Mankiewicz here at the Greenwich Concourse de Elegance for your live continuing coverage of the Greenwich Concourse de Elegance 2018. Wayne Carini is joining us. You know him from chasing classic cars, of course, and from being on countless television shows. Of course, ours last year as well. Um, thanks so much for joining us. You just picked up this car this morning. I did. So I came out and I started looking at the cars. It was about 8 o'clock this morning. This car was just placed on the field. And I'd been looking at the pictures of this car on uh, Gullwing Motor Cars website and talking to Peter about it. And it was that live experience, I guess, when I saw that great alligator interior this morning. I called Peter immediately. We put some numbers together, and I ended up buying the car at about 9 o'clock this morning. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. It's, it's a pretty important car. So Dave Garraway, who was the, the guy that started the Today Show, um, this was his car. He raced this car uh, all the time at Bridgehampton and Lime Rock. He was a great Jag aficionado. So we got a 1938 SS100 Jag. Um, and then it wasn't fast enough for him, as, or stylish enough for him, so he put these alligator seats in, and then he put a XK120 engine in the front, which gave him a lot more horsepower so he could race uh, in the circuits. Wow, that's pretty unbelievable. Now, is this a car you're, you're going to restore, um, or are you going to leave it all original as, as, as far as it is now? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it original. There's maybe a little a crease over in the fender on that side I might fix, but other than that, I think having something like this all original with such a great history. Uh, I also own the Dave Garraway XKE Roadster so that he bought in 1961. So this will go with the Dave Garraway collection. You know, and a lot of these news guys, so Walter Cronkite was a really great sure. race car driver too. Really? Yep, Walter was really into, into sports and racing cars. Dave Garraway, so some of our history is right in front of us and they collected spectacular cars. It's, it's pretty spectacular. I, I think that's a good way to describe it. Now, um, I know that you collect cars, but you also sell cars. You're in the car business. Is this something you're going to, you intend to keep? I know they always say you can't fall in love with any car when you're Well, in we intend to keep it, but that doesn't mean that, <laughs> that we, you know, we hope that maybe the guy that will purchase the XKE will also be able to purchase this someday, but uh, I think because of its history, it's it's the thrill of the chase, yeah. and I, I think the way that it happened here today, buying it on the lawn at the Greenwich Concours, really adds to the uh, excitement. There was any special feature on this car that really drew your eye or your attention? Well, of course, it's the alligator interior as well as the alligator covered steering wheel you have a, a stopwatch here so that when you were going around the track you could actually time yourself and see what your times were like so uh, little features like that we've got an oiler that's on the dashboard over there that wasn't a standard thing but it was a, you know it was something with the older cars that the that have the oil come up so you could see it um, just all these great little features, the emblems, the Jag Club emblem here on the side, the spotlights, just everything drew me to this car, especially though the history. Yeah, yeah, and and he changed the engine to an XK120, which gave him uh, just about 200 horsepower? Yeah, it was quite a bit, and, and you know, it's got twin exhaust out the back, and, and the original engine comes with it too, so really spectacular. Oh, wow. And, and boxes of, 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 of booklets and, and, and paperwork that come with the car, so that, that's what we're buying history. When did Dave buy it? Dave bought it, uh, I think, in the early 50s. Uh, okay, I'm not so sure the, the 120 was already in production, but yep. I guess he had the preference for the SS100. Exactly. You know, the pre-war cars were really spectacular, and then all of a sudden, after the war's over, they're building these 120 Jags, mm -hmm. and most of them came to the United States because, you know, they really wanted to make sure that they sold cars that were able to make some money and get, exactly. get, their, get themselves back going again. There wasn't a lot of people that bought Jags over in Europe. They didn't, nobody had any money at the time. You know, the Very factories true. are bombed out then Europe was a mess so a lot of the early cars came there yeah for, for especially for the British it was export or die that's right it was and, and most of the cars came to the US um, I love the Jaguar you know jumping off yeah, the, the uh, leaping cat yeah yeah and the large headlights all the emblems on the front would this be a hard car to race with the length and and I mean to me this seems like it would be lumbering and heavy uh, wouldn't be nimble but I, I don't really know about racing long cars like this and obviously well, Formula mean, One cars are long the short wheelbase uh, actually it's a fairly short wheelbase in this car where you had uh, cars like the one next to us which were two plus two so the, the wheelbase is quite a bit longer but uh, yeah this was built as a race car back in the in the 30s I mean you know so pre-war this was the hot item to have. Do you enjoy coming to events like uh, the Greenwich Concourse, the Elegance, where you can meet, not only meet fans, but talk to car people and see 
I mean, there's so many cars that are one-offs here that you never get to see anywhere. I learned so much coming to an event like this. You know, there's a Volkswagen Carmen Ghia up there, which I just, I love. The We're 1500, talking, right? Yeah, isn't that a great car? I just yeah. love the shape and the styling of that car. And relatively unknown here because they only export the, the, the 1300, That's the smaller exactly one, right, the smaller which one. was based on the Virgil Exeter Chrysler designs, yep. which is why everybody knew them. But that one, completely different animal. Yeah, and it's, it's such a cool looking car. Of course, we've got next to it uh, uh, a shooting brake Ferrari. Yeah, that, that uh, one is the one. Kennedy design, you know. That's the one I'm like most enamored with because I'm like, that's a one off Ferrari. Somebody yeah. like commissioned this car from Ferrari, and that blows the idea of that blows my mind. Well, I mean, a lot of these cars were one off cars, yeah. you know. Uh, they would build them for car shows, and then people would go to the car show and purchase the car right, on, right off the turntable. Sort of like me. I, I come to a car <laughs> show, and, I, and it's on the lawn here. I know it's for sale, and I, and I buy it up. Yeah, but the difference is today, I couldn't walk like we saw at the auto show this year this GMC ridiculous thing with a uh, you know tank tires and everything and uh, you couldn't walk up to General Motors and buy that no it's a, that, things are a little different yeah somebody said before one of our viewers said one of the terrific said uh, that they love the history in cars and learning the history of countries through cars and I, I, I never thought about that before but it's yeah it's I kind mean, of amazing know, cars are made everywhere there were so many cars made in the United States at one time I mean in Indiana alone there was thousands of, of automobile related manufacturing going on back in the 20s and the teens. Have you seen anything in the uh, auction? Have you gotten a chance to walk through there, seen anything that you're like, wow, I haven't seen this in a while or I haven't seen this at all? You know, there was a, there was a Dodge, a 54 Dodge uh, Indy 500 pace car with a small Hemi that wow. was kind of cool this morning. And then I ended up finding out that a buddy of mine ended up buying it. So <laughs> I'll get to see it again. It's going to be up by us. But uh, And then uh, I bought a 50, uh, 50, I'm sorry, 49 Cadillac Fastback for a client in there this morning, which wow. is a really fantastic car. Nice. To get that look, you'd have to buy a Bentley Continental GT. Uh, from the 50s, and you're getting that same look, but in a Cadillac. Who copied whom? Yeah, well, I, I'm not quite sure, but GM styling was really something back then, too, so. Uh, it, it absolutely was. I'm sure that they probably copied Continental. <laughs> but uh, we're standing in the middle. We, of course, you have an SS100, yours in front of us. We have another SS100, a couple more. Uh, have you, in your experience, seen so many of these gathered together at once? Yeah, and, and you know, the thing with this show is the Cunninghams this yes. year. So so we have a gathering of the Cunninghams. Mm -hmm. It's never been done before mm -hmm. that all these Cunninghams have come together in one spot. Uh, Mary Wunderstrom, who runs the event, has just yeah. done a wonderful job with a lot of assistance from a lot of other people involved. Um, and they've, they've pulled this together and got the best cars all together in one spot. It just It's n not happened ever before, and it's really kind of cool. Yeah, they started them all up uh, yesterday at the same time. That was pretty amazing. Is there a car that uh, has a, an exhaust note that you think is the best exhaust note you've ever heard? I, I was raving over the Dino before. Um, I, I think Ferraris in general just always sound good. Uh, and and I, I don't know. Is there something that you... Well, it's a 250 short wheelbase. Sounds pretty damn good to me. Uh, you know, Daytona. Mm -hmm. um, You're Ferrari guy. Uh, yeah, I'm a Ferrari guy. Uh, uh, down at the National Library down in Washington, I was I was bringing home a Daytona. We unloaded it out of the trailer, and I drove underneath that bridge probably 20 times, uh -huh. you know, just to hear it. My wife, uh, she was in the car with me, and after the second time, she says, drop me off and pick me back up when you're done having your fun, you know. Um, I, don't know, I just bought a Dodge Demon, and to me, wow. that is a fantastic sound. In that, you're getting an exhaust note, but you're also getting that supercharged whine. And it is fantastic. I love it. Have you noticed something, Mike and I? When they started up the Hemis in the Cunninghams, I was enjoying the V8 Rumble. He wasn't that big on it because he wants something sharper. He yeah. wants something that you would get out of a European car. Probably the the wild, wildest exhaust I've ever heard is a Matra Formula One engine. Oh. So the exhaust on a Matra, the pipes are so small around, and you make this screeching sound, which is just... I mean, it's ear piercing, but it's it's also kind of wonderful. What's happening with Chasing Classic Cars? Chasing Classic Cars has signed a new three-year deal with the Congratulations. Network. Thank you. That Thank is you awesome. Much. Looking awesome. forward to seeing and, it. And uh, so we'll be on for our episode starting June 26th um, at 9 on Velocity Channel. Excellent. Uh, so it's it's kind of cool. We, we we like the hour format now that we're going to be in. We're going to have a lot more uh, in-the-shop action where we're restoring cars. Uh, Very but, cool. Uh, but... I mean, you never know what's going to appear on the show. I walked into this, to the event this morning and ended up buying this car. 
we have, you know, those, that's the things that happen to us. You never know what's going to happen on a daily basis, minute to minute. I love it. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank it's you. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it's Good great to see you here, and we love the show. Thank you. So uh, everybody check it out on Velocity. Um, and uh, we got a lot more to get to, so we're going to keep doing that. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. I appreciate it. That's Wayne Carini, everybody.